Welcome back. I'd like to thank again the volunteer crew and the Shaw staff uh, for doing this show. Um, I'm going to be talking to both uh, Mazin and Mehdi in this segment, and we're going to start off uh, talking a bit about Venezuela, Mazin. Uh, um, thanks again, Jacques. Uh, uh, we s seem like we are in a time in a world where we have a lot of uh, uh, problem all over. Like, for example, yes, just yesterday between India and Pakistan, and uh, if uh, from coming from as where I came from as an Arab. I can assure you every single Arab state, it's in a boiling term. Everything, it's boiling. But the Venezuelan issue, it's the latest one we have, especially with all the American propaganda about what's happening in Venezuela and uh, their involvement, as we never learn from what the in, in intervention usually of USA in any country, what lead usually to example Libya or Syria where I came from which is now completely still in chaos Iraq the same thing Somalia anywhere USA involved there is chaos spread more and more but uh, in Venezuela issue once again the root cause is was started mainly by the American so what we have now is the result what the American did I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to stop you right here. Uh, everybody, just an, I think it'll be better if you speak into the camera. Yeah. I, I think you should speak into the camera more rather than talking to me because the way you're in profile, it, I think it would be better to speak into the camera. Speak directly to the audience. Yeah, it will be a little bit weird. Okay, yeah. I could yeah. look here. Uh -huh. I, think, I think it's better. Let's okay. talk about you wrote Canadian. Okay, so let's just start again. Uh, start. Not, not start from the beginning, but just carry on. Okay, but wait, uh, you're going to have to, I can't just. Okay. You have to say something, Jack. Okay. Go ahead and start. Okay. What, what do you want to talk? You want to? You, uh, well, you could say what about Canada's role here? I mean, okay. okay. And what about Canada's role in in what's going on in Venezuela? Uh, usually, Canada always follow up, follow what the American uh, agenda. There is a big. Uh, 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 all, there is one small example. Even when the American Canadian. Uh, uh, policy differ from the American. We have it's for a reason. Uh, Chrétien once told Clinton, "If the Canadian and the American work in the international stage, s kind of separately and uh, even kind of in, in opposition in some issue, that could help the USA more than the CIA help the CIA." But, the but Canadian hypocrisy on this issue, they, they, and on one, one hand they are talking about the humanitarian concern, on the other hand they are creating a coup. Canada in 2000, the year 2004, Feb, uh, April of 2004, engaged in creating a coup in Haiti, getting rid of the elected government of Haiti, Mr. Aristide, and putting a corrupt government in power. The same with the, with the uh, coup in, in Honduras in 2009. They had a coup in Honduras, and what's happened, what's happened there, the Canada was the first one, uh, was, or second country, to, to, to re recognize the, the, coup, the, the coup. And they get rid of the elected government of Manuel Z Zalia. And then we saw in Honduras, now people of Honduras are running away from dictatorship. This is the caravan that's coming to the war. They are creating an impossible situation for people to live in peace. The same with Haiti. Haiti right now is in turmoil. The United States and Canada and Western countries are helping the Saudi Arabia to devastate Yemen. 80% of Yemenese people are living in hunger and destitute now. There is no help, humanitarian help for them. We don't see Canada and United States send trucks there because that is okay. But if, they, if there is an independent country that the American corporation don't have their hands in the, uh, in the resources of those countries, then we, that's the, we have to change the regime. Actually, the Americans said it clearly that the oil of Venezuela is very important to them. And when it comes to Canada and Lima, this organization, which I see it's like similar to the NATO, by the way, it's just another organization doing the work for the American. Uh, it's it show again the hypocrisy, more of the hypocrisy when it comes to the native issue here. 
And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, the media as well. Yeah, we, we, in the first segment that I was with you, uh, we talk about how media is helping to perpetuate those falsehoods and helping to uh, co uh, corporate interests. But there are alternative media here in, in Victoria. I want to talk about a few of them and in Vancouver. Focus magazine, Leslie, Leslie Campbell and David Broadland and their contributors are doing wonderful work and very, very, uh, very, very truthful and, and working for the public interest. There is a website called, uh, called the Narwhal and narwhal.ca. There is a group of women doing a great job on environmental issues. Uh, Sharon Riley, Emma Gilchrist, Carol Lennett, Sarah Cox, and Judith Lavoie. And they, uh, I, I think they are wonderful. And if you have some money, send it toward them because they, they need. Uh, and that's uh, the Narwhal, which is N-A-R-W-H-A-L. Yes, dot C-A. And then there is the Tai. There is two Andrews there, Andrew McLean and Andrew Nikoforic, doing great job, and other contributors of, of the Tai. So the tai.ca. And the last one is the breaker, uh, dot news, which is Bob McKean doing a great job, uh, a great job there. We need to really to change our, our perspective and the, and the dialogue and the discussion. We need artists, poets, writers, prophet to come and really stimulate the public and inspire the public to resist. We need to resist this 1% agenda. Uh, the great American poet uh, Walt Whitman uh, uh, said to, uh, to, his, to his own American, he said, uh, he said, to the states and every one of them, to the every city of the states, resist much, obey little. Once on questioning obedience, once fully enslaved, once fully enslaved, no nation, a state, city of this earth, ever after war, resume its liberty. We need to resist this destruction of our, 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 our planet. Ameri another American poet, Robinson Jeffers, said, man suffer once and become curiously ignoble. And prosperity made them curiously wild. But look how noble the earth is. And that is the way we have to change our attention from, from this money-making destructive machine to what nature tells us what to do. And Ma uh, Mazen, just talking about uh, media, the role of the media with Venezuela is... Uh... Yeah, again, the media here is not their job to explain what's happening in Venezuela. They're they are a business mainly. It's the money factor here, and then the profit, which play the best, the main role. You talked before about democracy. I, I, for me, completely, to have a democracy in a capitalist society where you have a rich and poor, this is just a, a, fa a, a false idea. Until people are equally not just politically as a, as a voice, also economically as a clause. They, you, you won't have a democracy. We have here democ of freedom for big business to do wherever they want to. And um, I am not that optimistic about the role of a small alternative. I'm afraid that like the global warming issue or it's we are in a point, it's whatever you do now, it's kind of so late. Uh, I'm afraid there's a lot of issues going to explode in our faces, and then may, maybe we will learn from what will happen. Yeah. Mehdi and Mazen, thank you both very much, and thank you for watching this segment of Citizens Forum.